Hi guys, I'm Kate or Crossamira, and today I'm going to show you 18 minutes full body stretch using um, a chair. Ideally, the chair will be sturdy without wheels or armrests. So, if you spend a lot of time sitting during the day, that's your workout, the routine that you need to feel nice and open and energized again. Please check out my other videos. I would love to hear from you with any suggestions, any uh, requests. Yeah, let's get started. Sit under the chair. Left leg is in front of you and the right one is behind. We're trying to keep 90 degree angle with the back leg, with the right one. Make sure the low back is not arched. Pull your belly button in, shoulders are back and down. Good, tuck your tailbone in, tailbone in and relax the shoulders. Hold it for a couple of seconds. You're gonna feel the stretch on the back side of your thigh. Let's start sitting on the chair. Right leg is forward, left one is behind you. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see a little bit better. Tuck your tailbone in, relax the shoulders, and hold the position. Ideally, we have 90 degree angle in both knees. Keep pulling your belly button in. Feel that stretch on the front side of your thigh. Couple more seconds. Good. We're gonna add some more movement. Extend your left arm up towards the sky. Reach up without arching and releasing the low back. That's gonna increase the stretch here. Shoulder is back and down. The left shoulder is back and down. Lean to the right. Very good. Hold for a couple of seconds and then release. Very good. Relax the leg and continue standing up. Same leg. The left leg is uh, behind the right one. You might want to have a little space between your feet. Hold on to the back of the chair. Pull your belly button in. Extend your left leg, left arm up towards the sky. Open the chest up and lean to the right as far as you feel comfortable. Good, relax that top shoulder. Keep pulling your belly button in. Our goal is to feel the stretch on the side of the leg. If this is not the case, if you don't feel the stretch, adjust your legs. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. Good. Oh, I feel that. And release. Very good. Now we're going to switch sides. We're going to do everything on the other side. Left leg is forward, right one is back. And as always, I'm gonna turn around so you can see a little bit better. Tuck your pelvis in, 90 degree angle in both legs, face forward. Tuck your tailbone in, that's the key. Shoulders are back and down, extend your right arm up. Reach up towards the sky, that's gonna increase the stretch. Couple more seconds. Very good. And release. Very nice. Stand up. Right leg goes behind the left one. Make sure you have enough room between your feet. Left arm down. Reach up with the right one. Pull your belly button in. Shoulders back and down. Imagine you have a wall in front and behind you and we cannot move the body in any other way but to bend to the side. Very good. Relax the top shoulder. Good. And release. Fantastic. So, so far we stretch the hip flexors, the quads and here that area. Now we're going to work on the back, on the spine. Place your hands on the chair, on the back of the seat of the chair. Lengthen through the spine. Make sure your feet are not too close. So step away and really feel that stretch through the spine. Shoulders are back and down. Belly button is in. 
inhale look up towards the sky lower your belly button down then we're gonna reverse round the back pull that belly button in keep switching make sure you hold three four seconds in each position and exhale pull that belly button in five more like this inhale open exhale bring the chin in and four very nice and arch shoulders are away from the ears as always we're trying to shr uh, prevent shrugging of the shoulders and arch good i believe we have one more and arch very similar movement place your forearms onto the chair make sure again your uh, back is nice and straight shoulders are back and down pull that belly button in inhale look up towards the sky exhale pull that belly button in this time we're targeting more the mid back stretch uh, we're stretching the mid back very nice exhale round if your knees are getting too tense soft, soften them a little bit or if your hamstrings are tight and it's difficult for you to maintain your legs straight bend your knees two more like this inhale up exhale last one each time try to go a little bit further into the movement and last one beautiful push your hips back keep your elbows uh, straighter feel the stretch in the shoulders the front side of the shoulders in the back of the legs uh, always an option to bend your knees if this is a little bit too much for your hamstrings but if you want to go to the next level extend your knees push from the chest down good very nice Keep the same position for the body. Reach with the right arm towards the left ankle. And try and get a little bit closer. The key to, is to keep your back straight. So it's easy to compensate, to round the back, but keep your back nice and straight. And you can add some rotation if you'd like. Look um, under your left shoulder really pull your body with the right arm as long as you can maintain that back straight switch sides the other way inhale exhale release place your left hand on the right ankle good and pull your body in good keep breathing one more breath and look under your right shoulder up towards the sky and keep pulling with the left arm so we can increase the stretch good last one and exhale very very good slowly <laughs> we're gonna go up good and we're stretching the hamstring we continue with the hamstring stretch as we sit throughout the day if that's our job we need to pay a little extra love to those muscles so the leg is the right leg is straight push your hips back shift your weight back point your right toes up towards the sky hold on to the chair just to have a little support good and release one more time lean back keep your legs straight your legs straight the back knee the other the left knee is bent and extend same position but this time place your right uh, right foot out to the side you can widen your stance and same thing we're shifting the way back just to be more clear i'm going to turn to the side so imagine your chair is in front of you and i'm shifting my weight back but at the same time yep i'm feeling the stretch inner thighs and the hamstrings very good nice job so we're in still in that position i'm switching positions so you can see better 
but we are the same position. Now place your right toes, the back of the chair, the back leg, and try to lengthen through the spine, push your weight forward, feel that nice stretch in your calves, in the right calf area. Good, very nice. And we are switching sides. Left leg is forward. Bend your right knee, shift your way back. R left toes are pointed up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stretch in the hamstring. Good, one more time. Lean back. Very nice. Same leg, the left leg is going out to the side. Then shift your way back and feel that nice stretch in the inner thighs. Just adjust your legs. Maybe you might need a little wider stance to feel that inner thigh stretch. So play around, see what works for you. And again, I'm gonna to turn to the side. So just you can see my uh, leg positioning. The back is straight as always. Good. Left toes go on to the back, um, the foot of the chair, the back leg. <laughs> and shift your weight forward. Try to stand up nice and tall. Excellent. Good, and release. Sit back on the chair. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. This is going, uh, you're gonna feel the stretch in the left buttocks, the left glutes and piriformis muscles. They can create a lot of trouble if we're sitting throughout the day. So that's why we're stretching them. Stay with that option or if you need a little bit more stretch, inhale then exhale, lean forward. As always, reminder to keep your back straight. Very nice, couple more seconds here. Make sure you breathe as you stretch. That's the key for muscle relaxation. Good, switch sides. Right ankle over the left knee, nice and tall. Inhale and then exhale, lean forward if you need that extra stretch. Good, three deep breaths in that position. Two more. Last one, fantastic. Place your feet back. I am turning my chair just so you can see better on the side, but you are the same position. Sit at the uh, edge of the chair, grab the back of the chair. Inhale, open the chest up towards the sky without arching too much from the low back. And then exhale, curl your back, make create like a curl, bring the chin in and keep going. Inhale, open the chest up. Exhale, round the back. Especially when you open the chest up, feel that nice stretch in the shoulders and the front side of your neck. Exhale, round. Two more like this, because again, we're sitting, our shoulders, the front side of the shoulders are getting so tight. That's why we do this stretch to open up the chest and improve posture. And last one. Very good. Feet are going out to the sides. Lower your left shoulder down towards the floor. And I'm turning so you can see better. Good. Now the other side. Feel that nice rotation and twist in the low back. Good. Lower that shoulder down. Inhale in the center. Exhale. When you go down, two more each side. Enjoy that beautiful stretch. Good. Last one. So when I do that, I'm pushing against my knee to um, gain a little bit more extra stretch. Last one. Nice. And one of my favorite stretches, feet out to the side. 
inhale and then exhale just lean forward as far as you feel comfortable make any adjustments so you're sitting steady on the chair good and you can even even go further and lower your head down good keep your feet um, keep your feet apart keep your hands on the floor if you want to go one extra uh, step of a stretch clasp your fingers and just rest them on the base of your head or your skull and relax that's gonna add a little extra stretch to your neck and spine but if this is a little bit too much for you no worries just keep your hands back down on the floor and have that extra support last deep breath and very very slowly let's sit up use your hands to push yourself up we are finishing up with my favorite neck stretches i do that every day because i carry my tension here i'm constantly like this when i'm stressed out so we need to open and stretch those muscles lower your head to your left you can hold to the edge of the seat that's gonna add a little extra stretch keep your shoulders relaxed good stay with that option or place your hand on top of your head no pulling just the weight of your arm will increase uh, the stretch if it's too much for you too intense just bring your arm back down okay so release the arm if you're doing that option bring the head up and then switch sides right ear to the right shoulder imagine there is a, a wall in front of you and behind you and you staying up nice and tall place your hand on top of your head only if you need that extra stretch Good, feel that nice stretch on this side and the opposite side of the neck. Release the arm, head up. Now we're bringing the chin in towards the armpit. Stay with that option or place your hand on top of your head. I'm still holding with my right arm to the chair. Now the stretch is on the top of your right shoulder blade and towards the neck. good release the arm head is going up and now chin in towards the armpit stay with that option or place your hand the stretch especially with for the neck area has to be comfortable you feel the stretch but is uh, there is no pain no discomfort that is very important for stretching so find your spot and just relax into the stretch relax the arm bring the head up head circles all the way down and then stop to the shoulder if your neck is not in the best shape today if you feel very stiff or go all the way up so each time we're reversing same thing keep your posture then sit up nice and tall shoulders are relaxed good and then last one beautiful thank you so much for joining me today please check out my other videos and i would love your feedback get in touch to me if you have any particular requests i would love to hear from you thank you bye